This summer I've been focusing on curating fiddler crabs that have been collected globally. We use Google Earth to pinpoint exactly where they were collected and we've been counting like the males and females and we've counted 7,777 crabs. Every day we're reminded that we have to be very accurate with our information because even just the tiny variants could throw what other people do down the road like what they're working on off so it's very important. The most surprising thing was definitely the size of the crabs and just seeing the difference between species and getting to know more geography than I ever have. There's also two side projects going on by two other students. My part of this research project deals with the geometric morphometrics of uh, fiddler crabs is basically uh, determining the evolutionary differences in the shape of the crab's top carapace between species and then within species from different localities. So Our project is working on completing the mitochondrial genome of the Leptuca spinocarpa fiddler crab. Um, we're actually working with um, a professor from Clemson University. There were three gaps in the genome that we're giving them trouble, so we're doing some work here um, by creating PCR reactions. We're driving science forward because this collection is going to the American Museum of Natural History in New York, so it's very prestigious, and then scientists and hundreds of years later can use what we have written down to do experiments and research. And I think UNI is really special because undergraduates like me can have can help professors do these projects and I get more experience sooner on and can boost my resume for whatever comes down the road.